Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a short video here uh, on how to build a wing rotator for airplane wings. Uh, anyways, the yellow one over there is my cousin's that he brought over. Uh, I'm uh, probably going to more than likely put it on this wing here and uh, got this old antique little homemade job right here, you know, but... Uh, but anyways, uh, I crafted out this little wing rotator. I looked them up on Wag Arrow. Uh, well, first off, I tried to find one anywhere, and uh, Wag was about the only place there you could find these things. Uh, and they're pretty proud of them. I think they're like 450 or 500 bucks. Uh, I built this one right here for under 200, well, about 200 bucks. Uh, you know for the material and everything and then i had a guy bend a hoop for me and uh so anyways got this one down here now i did buy this from wag uh just because i didn't want to take the time there to slow down on the on the building process and build you know have to build another you know stand or whatever so i bought this was like 350 i think it was or something like that it's worth it to me uh, the only thing I don't like about it is I wish that it had some kind of better lo locking mechanism right here because whenever you tighten this down real tight, you know, it, it still tends to want to roll with you, uh, you know, on the hoop down here. But uh, I still got it. I got some, I just got it put on and I still got a lot of adjustment, adjusting to do on it, you know, to try to get it all adjusted out just right. Uh, I'm not a good welder, I will admit that uh i was pretty anxious to get this thing on so uh anyways uh my nuts that i welded on you know i tack welded some nuts on to my little t-fittings right here and uh some of them didn't and they were uh zinc coated and i put them on my grinder and grinded the zinc off you know all edge all the edges of it and whatever and you know the weld took to the nut good but it didn't get hot enough or evidently and you know melt into the steel on the on the hoop here but uh but anyways what i've done on mine and wag arrows is a lot different right here on their wheels they've got like uh two uh little dolly wheels and i show you right here that a friend sent me from uh, alaska And that one there just don't, I don't know. I mean, he said, he told me that it takes two people to turn it, you know, because the wheels kind of want to bind up in which Wag Arrow's hoop is uh, round, one inch round tubing to where this is a one inch square tube. Uh, but anyways, what I done here, uh, first off, I, I took one inch square tubing, uh, I think it's like 330 seconds or something like that thick, uh, or maybe one eight thick, I can't remember. Uh, and I put cut a three foot piece on this side, two four foot pieces going across, and then the other three foot over there. And I think I came up 14 inches from there to here. And uh, and then I can't remember exactly. I know it's 15 inches from the top of the hoop down to the bottom of this piece going across right here. Uh, so you come down 15 inches. And then on these little T-fittings right here, I think I went uh, 10 inches. I want to say it was like 10 by 10. And, uh, and I just squared it up and, you know, welded them together. And, uh, and you know, same thing down here on the other one. And then these right here are adjustable. These are three-quarter inch that are going inside of this one-inch square tube right here. And right now they're going all the way down. So you like my ghetto little pins right here. Uh, they're just uh 16 pin or 12 penny nails uh because i was putting it you know trying to lock everything there together before i put the hoop together or put it on the wing as i just drilled me some holes in it put me some little pins in it for right now uh and uh and then down here on the bottom i just took a two inch piece of uh aluminum and you know just kind of made two little brackets or whatever and just put some uh 
some of that little skid proof pad stuff I like to put on the bottom of your kitchen table chairs and stuff put there in between it uh, just so I didn't have a big screeching loud noise there whenever I move it around but uh, anyways uh, and the three-quarter uh, square tube in here fits perfectly in between the strut brackets here and uh, so I just put a 5 16 bolt through them and uh, just snug them down there a little bit. But uh, but other than that, that's, uh, I mean, that's it, you know. And what I've done down here on my wheels, instead of, you know, doing like WAG did, is, uh, is I just went to Home Depot and picked up two little dolly, uh, not, you know, not the ones that spin or nothing like that. I just got the cheapest ones I could find and they're two inch wheels. And, uh, and I just, you know, put them in between there and, uh, you know, put a washer on each side. And then I just ran a quarter inch bolt all the way through it and, uh, in which the, the shank or whatever on the bolt is, uh, whatever you call it is, is smooth from about right here over to the head right there, you know, so it's only about an inch and or so, inch or so of threads. But, uh, but anyways, I just thought I'd make that video and, share that with you and uh you know i mean i don't know if you have to have that down there or not really i mean i don't think you do i mean it's the way i set the wheels down and i think i came down two inches from the top came down two inches and then drilled the hole in it for the bolt or axle or whatever you want to say uh so i mean there is a little lip on each side of the hoop to keep you know to keep it on track you know or whatever but uh but anyways i just uh wanted to share that with you and uh, hopefully you got something there out of it and i know i sure would uh because i've tried you know like i said i tried to find videos on youtube and internet on how to build these and yeah you know, just couldn't find nothing so anyway i'm rambling on uh i got my other wing the left wing right here got it all stitched up uh it's done it's ready for, uh, well, I say it's done. I'm almost ready for tape, uh, pink and tape. Right here, I got one more rib uh, to stitch up. And what it is, my gas tank, uh, auxiliary tank is right here. And the rib is so close to the tank, I've got to figure out how I'm going to lace the rib, the fabric down to the rib on the bottom side and the top side because I don't have it. There's no way I can get a needle down in between it, you know, or whatever. Uh, that's just how it was whenever I put it in. It was a tight fit. So anyhow, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to my channel. And uh, and I will uh, have more videos and updates and stuff here coming up pretty soon. So thanks for watching. God bless.